Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are ranking every Marvel movie on a tier list. So this tier list has every Marvel movie and TV show. Oh, but for some reason, in it says Eternals on here, which obviously is a mistake because you know Eternals ain't out, or or it's just like for when Eternals comes out. But I'm not gonna be ranking that obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with the Phase One movies. He's, and by the way, the reason I've been doing a lot of of uh, Marvel rankings recently is because I just can't think of any other video ideas. But other than that, let's get right into it. But I will start thinking of other ideas uh, later, guys. But um, Captain America, I'm going to start with that. This is an interesting one. It used to be S tier for me, and it also used to be D tier. But I, I think now I'd put it about B tier. It's a good film, but... Yeah. Next thing I'm going to go with the original Iron Man. Some of you may be mad with my opinion on it, but I think B tier again. Because it's a solid film, but it's just not one of my favourites. And Captain Mark is definitely above it. Hulk. I think we all know where it's going D tier. But I'm going to rewatch it again because I'm watching the whole MCU with my mum soon. So yeah, not like in one day, obviously. Next thing I'm going to go with Iron Man 2. It's an interesting one. It... I put it B tier. If you think about it, if two of the movies in a trilogy of three movies are in one of the bottom three tiers on the tier list, then I don't really think it's going to be one of the best trilogies. But I, I, I think it's honestly better than the original Iron Man. Some of you will be mad at me for that opinion, but it. it but yeah, it's just my opinion. Hmm. There's Thor. Uh, Thor C tier. It's not the best, but you know it's it's C tier. Uh, I just don't really enjoy it that much. That's why I put it C tier. But the original Avengers, it's there's gonna be a lot in B tier, so I'm gonna put it A tier just so there's less. But it's probably gonna go bottom of A tier just because it, yeah, for the first like forty five minutes or something, I just find it kind of boring. But after that, I like really enjoy it. I'll I'll do phase two now. Since last time I started with, with the first movie in Phase 2, I'm going to start with the last movie in Phase 2 this time, Ant-Man. For me, it's definitely above the Iron Man movies. Uh, so, well, yeah, I guess it's it, it's good. It's good. Oh, wait, no, I didn't start with the first movie in Phase 1. That was the first movie in the timeline. All right, doesn't matter. Next, I'm going to go for Iron Man 3, I guess. I'm a three. It's a good film. Uh, a tier. I I definitely enjoy it, but I just don't think it's. I think it's good, but I don't think it's one of the top ten. Maybe like eleven or twelve. I think that's fair. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna go with next. Like, I I I I'll do Guardians. This is an interesting one. I love it. I used to put it maybe top fifteen at the most, but now it's like either top of A or bottom of S. I think. It's gonna go bottom of S because Guardians 2, I rewatched it and yeah, it's good. Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, interesting one. I actually, unpopular opinion coming up, I actually really like it, top of A. For sure. Um, there's two more in phase two, obviously, the worst one, Thor 2, then Captain America. The Winter Soldier going above Guardians in S. It's amazing. Is that all of... We're on to phase three, guys. Let me just check. Yeah, we're on to phase uh, three. Let's start with Black Panther. You know Black Panther? No, above Iron Man 2, and you know what? i got to admit, Iron Man 2, I'm going to put it top of C. Um, next I'm gonna go for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp is, it's not the best. I put it above Iron Man. Yeah, above Iron Man. Captain Marvel. Above Thor, above, yeah, above Iron Man too. I don't think you can do, like, give it any higher. Doctor Strange. Uh... Doctor Strange above Thor. I didn't like it as much as Iron Man 2, but it, it's fine. Thor, Ragnarok. 
uh, S tier above Guardians, but it's only just above Guardians by like a teeny bit. Homecoming, Spider-Man Homecoming, so, some of my friends' favourite film, which, uh, I, I mean, I can understand that, but for me, it's underneath Avengers Age of Ultron, because there's a couple of scenes that I'm just like, did that really have to be in a movie? Other than that, I, I really enjoyed it and I had no other problems, really. But since there's a few scenes, I'm going to have to put it there next. I'll do Spider-Man 2. MCU is best Spider-Man film, in my opinion. So, top of it. I'll, I'll keep it top of it. Unless I decide to end up putting, like, maybe... Unless I decide to put... Uh, um... Oh, what's called what if in there then maybe it could change um i'll do end game now end game i'm changing my opinion around for shang chi and end game because i gotta admit it was a little bit disappointing for me i like a few scenes but other than that it delivered so end game s but I was talking about Shang-Chi there. Uh, so yeah, Endgame is it, just a jam-packed, awesome movie. So third favourite, um, Infinity War. Infinity War. Infinity War. Infinity War is still my favourite. My friends are just like, Endgame's better. I'm just like, it's my opinion. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a really good film. My favourite scene in the whole of the MCU is in it, Thor arriving in Wakanda. That's just amazing. Whatever that's about. Uh, Guardians 2. I'm going to put it underneath Far From Home. I rewatched it. I loved it. It used to be my favourite. Now, it, I mean, it's good, but... Civil War. I'm going to put it above Endgame. Sets up Infinity War and Endgame nicely, which helps it a bit, and it's just, you know, it's so good. Next, I'm going to go for Phase 4 Loki, because you know we're on to Phase 4 now. I'm going to admit, I don't really like the TV shows as much once they're finished, so I'll put it top of B. Bottom of A, actually, bottom of A. Because I don't like the TV shows as much once... I finished watching them. Falcon and Winter Soldier. I rewatched a few of the episodes. Top of B. Top of B, definitely. WandaVision. For me, Loki's more unwatchable now than WandaVision. And WandaVision, especially the final episode, is a bit more watchable than Avengers, like the original. So, yeah, I'm going to go for the first movie in Phase 4 Black Widow. It delivered for me. And it could go above Far From Home, but for now it's above Guardians 2. I could rank Eternals at the end where I think it's going to go on my list. What if now... What if he honestly delivered? It's amazing. But above... Underneath the Winter Soldier. Like Falcon and... No, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Uh, next up is Shang-Chi. I'm, I'm gonna, you might be surprised, but for me it's fourth. Uh, you might be surprised as in like, you might be thinking, no, that, that deserves like A tier at the most or something. I, I think a bit different, but yeah, Eternals, honestly, I think I might enjoy it at the most. I think I'm going to put it top of B, bottom of A, but yeah, I think it's going to be a solid film. I'm going to probably put it bottom of A, but we'll, we'll have to wait and scene until like the movie comes out because imagine if it was like a failure and it was end up going in D below the dark world or maybe above the infinity war my favorite in um s but that's the end of the video there like subscribe goodbye